This all started today, by the way, as a peaceful protest in downtown Dallas. About 700 people showed up at City Hall and began marching. And uh, again, for hours, it was peaceful. You see people kneeling there on the streets. Some very powerful moments today. People expressing their frustration, their sadness, their anger. Uh, but then after several hours, it did start to get tense. And when it did, things went sideways pretty quickly. Tiffany Liu was at that rally today, out there all day long today. And Tiffany, wouldn't you agree uh, that it was peaceful, 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 and then all of a sudden it wasn't, and it went south very fast? Yeah, it went south very, very quickly, and actually it got very dangerous very quickly, too. So right now we are actually just outside of downtown Dallas off of Riverfront. Um, the station has made the decision to take us out of the riots and the protests to keep us safe because, like you mentioned, uh, we experienced that tear gas, and it was extremely painful and very, very exhausting, too. But I do want to walk you guys through chronologically what I saw today. Let's show you some of this video from earlier today. Like we mentioned, it started off as peaceful protests around one o'clock this afternoon. People were voicing their opinions and they were asking for change and they are frustrated by what happened in Minneapolis. And in honor of George Floyd and those before him, the protesters marched around downtown actually two times and they held signs with names that we are familiar with, like a Tatiana Jefferson and Botham Jean, and they chanted no justice, no peace. They chanted Black Lives Matter. Now, so that was around one o'clock to four o'clock where it would remain a peaceful protest and actually was about to wrap up. One of the organizers said, you know, this is uh, coming to an end. You guys can stay if you want, but that is when things started to get dangerous. Um, tension was high and people were heated up. And I was there taking photos of graffiti that I saw at City Hall when people started kicking the police units, slamming the windows while cops were in it. And police were in full riot gear and they weren't taking any of it. Um, so they started throwing tear gas and a lot of it. We heard a lot of flashbangs and um, some rubber bullets we saw were used and SWAT came in and we witnessed several people getting arrested as they tried to clear that city hall area. Now, I'll be honest, we are pretty exhausted from last night's protests and riots and looting um, through today where we thought it was going to be peaceful, but then quickly turned violent. So we just hope that the rest of tonight's protesters who are out there trying to make a change and, and uh, using their voices, we hope that it remains peaceful tonight, Jason. Now we know that the dark of night does complicate things for police. We have seen uh, some more damage occurring in the downtown and uptown areas. And before we let you go there, Tiffany, I do have to ask you, you mentioned uh, some of the graffiti that you saw being put onto the side of uh, Dallas City Hall today. Uh, we haven't seen those pictures because it was profane stuff. So it's it's not like you can broadcast that stuff out, but was it fairly substantial? Um, you know, it wasn't too much. I saw two or three, but, you know, it really did raise an issue of um, a bigger problem, I guess. People are frustrated with um, Congress and the president, and they express that on the walls outside of City Hall. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the place was just kind of trashed. I mean, after having a thousand people there, it's expected to be pretty messy. So yeah. they were trying to clear people out of that area. And then I saw the second graffiti out there and um, big red mark along the wall. Um, yeah. <laughs> I like how you uh, have passed along the gist of what they were saying to us uh, and, of course, cleaning it up here uh, for our broadcast audience tonight, Tiffany. Uh, thank you for that. That obviously is going to have to yeah. be cleaned up. Uh, just a moment ago, by the way, you were looking at HD Chopper 8 again, video of that uh, continuing. It's just sort of a roving protest at this point. Uh, it looked like one of the streets that they were on just a second ago uh, looked a little smoky, but we don't know what that is. We don't know if that's something that maybe uh, protesters are setting off or if perhaps it's tear gas. Uh, I can tell you that I got my first two significant whiffs of tear gas in my life as I was uh, foraging for dinner in downtown Dallas tonight, even just walking around many, many blocks away from where things were actually happening. If you caught the wind just right, uh, you will definitely take it in and you'll know that it's tear gas when it happens. Uh, our Eric Alvarez has been monitoring the situation tonight. Speaking of tear gas, you were right down there and, 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 and getting your taste of it today as well uh, at that protest at City Hall today. Eric, where are you now and what have you seen as uh, darkness has fallen? 
Well, I am just to the west of downtown Dallas, and I can tell you right now, every few minutes or so, you can hear the police sirens, you can hear the helicopters, you can see the flashing lights making their way around the perimeter. And if social media is any indication, things are only getting more and more tense on the other side. Now, this video posted to the Snapchat public story shows protesters making their way through broken windows at a downtown CVS. The timestamp indicates the video was taken around 8.40. 45 p.m. This other angle, you can see several people climbing in and out of the store as onlookers cheer. Meanwhile, we've already told you about the reports of people blocking interstates. Uh, one user posted this video giving their perspective. You can see exactly how it looks. Cars and trucks stopped completely because of the protesters in the lanes. Now, I also saw one post showing smashed windows at a Subway restaurant and a, a couple of uh, video posted videos posted to Snapchat from protesters point of view as they are approaching uh, a line of police officers. However, I have not seen any videos posted to social media that show any, in, any interactions or confrontations between protesters and the police. Of course, we are seeing more and more uh, posts continue to come in as the night goes on. Jason. Sorry to interrupt you there, Eric, but you did see quite a few arrests out at City Hall earlier today. And of course, you also saw that uh, rubber bullet being used on one of the protesters uh, who we think is OK. Uh, yeah, ba based on, on what we saw, we were able to see the young man. Uh, he got up after being hit with the, the, not the rubber bullet. Uh, he was walking. He was talking with his friends. He, he walked out of view, so he, he appeared to be all right as he, as he walked off of that. That incident happened a few minutes after the police were able to disperse the crowd and the few people that remained in the area after they were told. Uh, I remember it, it distinctly one of the officers uh, with a megaphone said, this is your last chance, mm. and the people that remained there, uh, many of them, well, I wouldn't say many, but I, I saw at least a dozen people arrested just on the one side of City Hall. And then, uh, of course, that young man uh, did get hit uh, somewhere in the lower body by that rubber bullet. He did get up. He did get walk away. He did walk away. He was talking with his friends. Uh, hopefully he is all right, but we don't know the extent of those injuries. All right, uh, Eric, a, a note to protesters when they give that final warning on the on the megaphone here in Dallas. They apparently they mean it. At least they did today. Thank you uh, for everything today.